Hello everyone. I wanted to talk to you about cellular activation. Why is cellular activation an important part of the process of elevation of consciousness? Cellular activation is the need of the body to change its cellular structure in order to house the frequency of the true self. So the first part of the process of elevation of consciousness is identifying the true self, becoming the true self in our identity. And that's why it's called soul restructuring. We're identifying everything that is in between our process of self-realization. So in this restructuring, we disconnect from identities, things that we have accumulated that we think that are us, things that we think that define us in any way. This could be circumstances, emotions, thoughts, ideas, other people. Anything that could change who we are is an interference in the process of self-realization. So the first part about becoming the true self is identifying the true self. Who is the true self? And also it's important obviously in the process of finding our purpose because the purpose is no other than an action of the true self the action of the being. And every time that we think that we are something, we are going to reflect actions based on that identity. All of our actions are reflections of who we are. These are default actions, default reflections of our perception of identity. So if we don't know who we are, if we don't know the true self, we're never going to live the purpose fully because we're always going to be doing things that reflect that false identity. So instead of wasting your time looking for what to do that is fulfilling or where or focusing in the action, focus in the self. The self is the answer for all the questions. So if you find the self first, the action is just a default and the purpose is a default of the true self. So cellular activation allows you to do that, allows you to house in your physical body, in your cellular structure, the energy of the true self, the energy of the original persona. Right now, your physical body is reflecting the composition of these identities that you have accumulated. So if you have physical limitations of some kind, or, or if your organs are failing in some way, or if you feel tired, or, or these other psychosomatic things. These are results of things that you have identified with. And the process of uh, cellular activation is all about detaching from the physical identities that you have accumulated, things that are already crystallized in your physical body and are affecting your functions, the body, the way that you move, the way that you talk, the way that you express yourself. You will never be able to express yourself fully in your full capacity unless you detach from the identities of the physical body that are limiting you. And then once you are able to release these identities, what flows naturally, what exudes, what comes out to resonate is the original persona or true self identity physically. So the process of cellular activation consists in first identifying these blockages, recognizing what is limiting me. How do I recognize this? And I share in the book different ways of experiencing awareness of processes that are usually limiting for our physical perception, which is the concept of time and space, the concept of uh, awareness of the original persona in my physical body, limitations that I could have preset for myself, fears and different things that could be limiting me physically. And then the next thing is a process of detoxification of these ideas, of these limitations. And the next thing is a process of activation of your cellular system. And this is done through a system that I call the conscious diet, because we can restructure the cellular system through breathing, movement and food. These are the ways in which the body communicates. This is how you talk to your cells. You talk to them through your breathing. That's like the first thing. That's how you establish contact is through your breathing. And then with the food, you are reinforcing your message. I want the body to do this. So I eat this kind of food that will allow me to do that. And then through focus movement, you create a, so, a sort of association, mental association. So. When you tell your body, I want to um, run faster, then you start doing all these sort of exercises, right? You're creating a pattern. You tell your body, um, I want to um, 
be more organized. This is something that is more psychological, but your body can also create that pattern, right? So then you associate your command to a physical movement and through the foods and through the breathing techniques that I share in the book, you end up creating a pattern in your physical body that is automatized. So your body helps you with anything that you want to create from their own. And the diet in itself is a diet that it allows you to elevate consciousness. It connects your neurons, it connects all the systems in the physical body because we're working and stimulating neurotransmitters. All of the most important ones, serotonin, dopamine, endorphins, adrenaline, and using that to create this activation of the connection in the body. The second part is about um, activating our stem cells, reproducing new cells, letting go of the old cells, creating new cells. So there is a stimulation of the stem cells that is produced through the food, breathing and movements that we're doing. And the next thing uh, is about connecting our neurons to our muscle cells because now there is this connection. You're going to be like dancing with energy. It's like energy tells you move over here, do this, and then you're going to feel in your physical body that you're actually being guided in your actions and movements. Your body is talking to you through energy and that's a beautiful feeling. And the last thing that happens after you have already experienced these connections is the embodiment of the true self, the physical embodiment of the original persona. Once you are already um, elevated the consciousness of your cells, activated your cells, then the next thing is that you are receiving this frequency in you. So you become this antenna. There is no need to think about movement. There is no need to like try to do things to control. You allow from now on movement, you allow flow of energy. You can just simply go to places and be guided what to do there because that's like the energy and consciousness of your body is activated. It's a very beautiful process guys. Elevation of consciousness is one of the most beautiful things because it allows you to be yourself. It allows you to recognize that you don't need to be in control. You only need to allow. So everything that you try to control, everything that you try to be, disconnects you from that awareness of self and the entire process of detaching 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 is a process of expansion expansion and expansion so the more you detach the more you gain is the irony of life in the physical form the more you accumulate the less you are this is how uh, life is telling us that the things that we believe are really not what we should uh, go for because their most obvious things are usually the least true things. The, we have to go for what is hidden, the semantics of things. What is behind my action? What is behind my thought? What is behind what I'm seeing? Is what I'm seeing really what I'm seeing or what is behind that? So this is the beautiful thing about that. Things that seem to be something are exactly the opposite. The more you accumulate, the less you have. How is that? Because on a spiritual level, these things that we're accumulating are temporary, are distractions, are interferences to the experience of the true self. So the cellular activation will show you ways of detaching from identities of the physical body, just like we learned in the first part of Soul Restructuring, the first book, how to detach of identities of perception. Very good guys, I'm excited to share this with you. I know that you will love it. You can find this book in Amazon or in my website, healersofthelight.com. And also don't miss the classes. They're very, very explanatory about the processes that go through and, and the whole cellular activation and the conscious diet. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there and until the next time, thank you.